Hey guys, we're here at Rockland Indoor Shooting Education in Pearl River, New York, and we're going to put our new Odin rifle light through its paces. Now, if you saw the video from yesterday, we showed the awesome deal that you can get on these for our Father's Day sale, but the only thing we didn't do in that video is give you some awesome shooting footage. So today, that's what we're going to do and show you why you guys have to pick one of these up on Father's Day. and shine the Odin right here on this target. And you can see that it actually has a pretty floody hotspot. The hotspot itself is easily filling up that entire target downrange. Um, but, and then you can see the basically outer edge of that hotspot near the bottom of the target there. And then it slowly kind of drifts out from there. I'll also show you some other tactical lights that we make compared to that. So here is the M2R Pro, and the M2R Pro uh, actually has a little bit bigger of a hotspot even than the Odin. Keep in mind the M2R Pro is a larger looking light than the Odin, um, but it has even a larger hotspot. Still a good looking beam. And then we'll go over to the Warrior X Pro just because. And then of course this is going to have a smaller hotspot with a lot more intensity and throw. You can see that target there going to the back is a lot more washed out because the intensity of the uh, Warrior X Pro, the candela of it, is much stronger. So we'll go back and forth again. So here is the Odin right there. Here is the M2R Pro. And here is the Warrior X Pro. So if you want to compare it to something that you might already have, I would say that the Odin is the most similar to the M2R Pro, but of course this has a much better uh, locking system for the remote switch, much better mounting situation um, since it actually has the integrated piece. So you're basically getting similar performance to the M2R Pro in a much better package specifically built for a rifle. So you can really put this on any Picatinny rail section that you have on your rifle. This is literally just an example setup, but we have a little rail section here on the side and we attached it there. So that way it's super up close to the top with a nice 45 degree offset. And then we ran the tape switch here to the top. So then in order to actuate it, you literally just can squeeze the top of the rail and it will turn on and off momentary. And then you can do a quick tap if you wanna do constant on. So this is just, again, a quick way that you could run it. But if you would like to, you could also orient it the other way to where this section right here is actually on the top of the rail if you do not have a side section like that. So I just think this is a really cool way to run it. But again, the possibilities are endless. Another great thing about this system is this is rechargeable through the actual tail switch. So the way that you can do that really quickly is we'll just go ahead and pull this down. 
take off the remote switch, then what you can do is you can just open this up, take this, and then you can just slide the light out of the mount, and then you can just leave the mount on the gun. So then when you're done charging it or using it handheld if you would like, you can easily just take it, slide it back in, lock down the rail piece so now it won't go anywhere. Then I'm going to take the remote switch, put it back on, and then we are back to where we were before. So I think this is really one of the best solutions to being able to take a light off, be able to charge it, change the battery, anything like that and then just be able to put it right back on. also features two different sections where you can actually place the light. So I'm going to loosen that up, take this off, and then if I wanted to, I could just put it in the other way if you'd rather have it at a 90 degree angle versus the 45 right there. So I'll just open that up and then I can plop it back down at that 45 and then I can lock this up so then I won't be able to move it again. So not only can you put the Picatinny rail section on any rail section that you actually have on the rifle itself, but you can orient it in two different directions as well once it's placed where you want it to be on the rifle. Now there is one other way that you could run this mount and that is if you get a second Odin and then you can put it in and then you have dual Odins on your rifle. Yes! Okay, wait, I'm just, I'm kidding guys, please don't do this. Actually, I think some of you guys probably will do this, but check that out, man. So this is the Odin that was on that shotgun that we just shot and it was actually beyond the front muzzle so you can see here that it did get pretty dirty but we can just clean that up it's really no big deal and then you can see the actual lens right here since the lens actually goes in a little bit and you have that protruding bezel that the lens will stay clean because the front of the light and that bezel that's sticking out further than the lens is protecting the lens from all that powder. So it's a good design there to keep the lens clean, but of course the outside of the light is gonna get dirty if it's right there next to your brake or flash hider or whatever you have. Thank you so much for hanging out with us here at Rise today to check out the new Odin Rifle Lights. As you can see, if you have a Picatinny rail on your rifle, you got to get one of these on there. And Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when these go on sale. So when you're having dinner with your family on Father's Day, cut out, get one of these 8 p.m. at Eastern Time so that you can make sure you get it before they sell out. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,